Hey guys, Dark Methus here, and no, your monitor's not messed up, and no, YouTube is not messed up. I am this red because I had a slight sunburn, and my arm's kind of like that, and my hand. I watched the Bears blow a 28-7 to lead on Sunday. That's something we won't do here. Although we are playing PSG, you never know that can, what can happen. So there's that. And we are going to be playing our last Champions League game today with Serena Svetza. So we do have that. So hopefully it's not too bad. Let's, let's not. Let's not do it. Uh, I, let's just get right into this because I, I don't want to feel defeated anymore. I want to win. I want a win here against Kylian Mbappe. We did make a change last game and uh, I did forget to show you one particular thing and that was the games that we had in between. So I think we left off with Benfica, the last game, that 4-0 win. We beat Leipzig 4-0 and then we beat uh, Freiburg by 4-1. So the change up top has been doing great. That puts us in the league back at fifth. So back up in the European spots. We pretty much need to win one of the next two games. And I think from there, just as long as Benfica does not beat PSG in the last week, we should be fine. Keyword is should. I mean, it's all, it's all in our hands. We are going to try to play a 5-2-1-2. Is it going to work? Probably not. But we're going to attempt to play this against PSG, play cautious, and try to play out of the defense and see if we can deal with Kylian Mbappe because we were very vulnerable in the rear. And well, this is the only time we're going to be playing a 5-2-1-3 or 5-2-1-2, I should say, is against teams like this because we just cannot play how we normally play in the league because we will get absolutely destroyed. This is how we're going to be playing today against Kylian Mbappe. We are playing at PSG. So, uh, yeah, we're not just the underdogs here. We're the underdogs away. That, that, come on, let's get something. Hakimi, you're going to take that set piece, looking around all the way over to Mendez. It's only six minutes in. Is this going to be. Pain all over again. Fitting up over to Fabian. We're locking it down. Good defensive. Hakimi. Arte. Go back forth. Looking for the cross. There it is. Alvarez missed it wide left. That surely should have been a goal, and he just straight missed it. Capembre. Up to Hakimi. Where's Mbappe? Mbappe should be on the other side, right? Yeah, because Dembele is over here. Trying to get it around. That's what I like to see. Two guys on Mbappe. There we go, Frederick. I like the hard tackle. Bruder just took a little bit too hard of a touch. Let's go, Manu Kone. Not let Kylian Mbappe get the ball. Amla made a okay i'm gonna stop that stop that shot from mbappe you love to see it van Vlick does win that and sabiri does clear it with the header but akimi is there Tinya plays it up frederick's gonna win that in the air we don't want no shot Ooh. That was a good one. Can't get angry with that. That was a great shot. So we have nothing up top, but I mean, we are inviting a lot of pressure right now. Playing cautious, and I'm fine with that. For the most part. Okay. Crembe, that's Thier, the Sabiri. Sabiri shot. Why are we shooting it way out to the 30? Why are we shooting it from the 30, my guy?
I get it. Here we go. It should be Sabiri. It is set piece. We get it past the world class keeper. Oh no, it's a world class save though. It is a world class save. Can we get something here? And then Danvalex not going to win that. Okay, another corner. Belly just sits it out from Nets. Nets takes left footed corners and Sabiri takes right footed corners. There's Kamiri. I'm going to play it in space in the middle. Not a lot of space, but some space. Okay. Had a couple of good chances. Bruto having to come back for it. Tanflick out to Manokone. To Sabiri. Out to Scully. Scully up. Play. There it is. Play just hit the ball. My guy. I need you to just have a firm. Oh my god, Manukone. That was disgusting of a tackle. The frustration is real. The loss is real. Sabiri's not going to be. Oh, he could. Just have him as a ball winning midfielder. We're going to give up so much pressure. We have to hold this somehow. Manukone. Completely unacceptable. We have a chance. Ah, Frederick. Don't pick up another card, my guy. Everyone get back. Alvarez is so off sides. Good save by Omelin, but Alvarez is way off sides. Shouldn't we be getting back? Yes. I want you to regroup or press like that. Well, if we can get a draw out of this, that's actually the best case scenario. But I, I don't see that happening with Mbappe over here. It's only a matter of time at this point with 10 men on the field. Omelin's there. If they keep on taking shots here, it is more likely that the, it could be saved. Keyword is could. Will they? I don't know. But there's Alvarez off the post. Hold on. Since we don't have this many. Let's not play it over lap like that. Because we're just kicking it. Back to PSG doing that. And on top of that, I want you to play with shorter passes. Still with higher tempo. All right, the changes that we're going to have to make. Um, Gonna have to be defensive in nature. So that's gonna be one. Beigel is gonna come in for. For Kamari. No, not on defense. Let's just have him as a DM on support. Um. Scully. Uh, play is going to have to come out. We'll put in Nagomu. Let's say a pressing forward. Who can play on the outside? And Vigel. If I can only play through the middle. Um. Let's go 
let's go Kevin Scheid over here. And then from there with the last one, let's put new house. Scully. See if we can do this. I don't think I want either side to attack. I just went on support. I think we're going to play this. How tall is Weigel? Isn't Weigel like 6'1? Yes, what am I doing here? Here, Weigel will be. Th there we go. Like, what are we doing with that? Let's get it out. They're going to go down to 10 men now. Okay. Okay, we got ourselves a game here. We have ourselves a game. Let's get up Shad. Michael's going to be the deep line playmaker. Sabiri. Segundo Volante on attack. We are back in business. We are back in business. That's Did they really just take Kylian Mbappe off? I think they did. Ooh, good passing. We missed it. They really just took off killing Mbappe. I'm not crazy, right? Yes, they did. And we're playing for the draw right now. And Benfica has a draw going on. I mean, best case scenario, a draw against PSG, a draw against PSG. That is insane. I'm a little. What with that? I like three. Three will be good. If that doesn't work. It'll be fine. Okay. That was amazing. Now we're trying to look at who we could possibly sell at the winter transfer window. Cause the idea is if we have the ability to, we might want to bring in another goalkeeper, maybe another striker. I don't know. I have a couple of ideas. And the ideas are Anton Stotch and Farius uh, Yusufu. One being a goalkeeper that we can develop and one being another guy that can play through the middle all the way up to the top and also all the way back in defense wise so a good generalized player that would be great and uh Weigel is 30 28 so i would like to get some more speed i'll make a cut here we'll be back against serenia Svetsa, so we'll see if we can get through this group we have we've already qualified benfica lost we have qualified, so we're not actually going to have this game. We are going to have an FC Cologne game. It's a rivalry game. Let's have fun in the league. And we'll see we draw before uh, after that Champions League game. So let's go. Advance in the Champions League. All right, here we go. The draw. Round of 16 in the Champions League. We are unseated. Seated teams are Juventus, PSG, Liverpool, Man City, Porto, Milan, Man United, and Barcelona. Unseated teams are Ajax, Arsenal, Inter, ourselves. Uh, I'm going to try this. Besiktas, Leipzig, Parthenope and Bayern so let's see who gets drawn first it's Arsenal gets drawn against 
So they can only grab Barcelona, Porto, Juventus, or PSG. And they grab Juventus. Okay. Inter. Can, can grab everyone but Milan and Liverpool. And they grab PSG. Okay, that helps. Besiktas grabs. You can grab anyone. No one's in their group. And they grab Liverpool. Okay, easy game for Liverpool. Bayern. They can't draw. Actually, Bayern's in the unseated. So they just can't draw United. Take Man City. Yes, Bayern. Ajax will be drawn against. Please be like Barcelona or United. Okay, Barcelona. We are going to be drawn against. Please give me Porto. We get United. Leipzig will grab AC Milan. And the last one will be Parthenope against Porto. United. Okay. We play at home first. So there's that. But is this a powerful United team? I would say generally it is compared to ours. Compared to Europe? No. Compared to us? Yes. It's going to be definitely interesting for sure. This is who we draw in the Champions League. So we'll be back with this Cologne game to round out the episode. All right, here we go against Cologne. We're playing same formation. I moved up new house here because we have a promise uh, with him on getting him playing more in the central midfielder, a deep line playmaker. It's not a big deal, but it should be all right. Otherwise, we're playing the same way we've been playing. We have a lot of possible suspensions that could happen. So uh, yeah, let's not do that. And our man with 11 goals, Jean Gruda, is up to the standard of only a League 2. The man is scoring goals in League 1. That's how good he is. We just need him to keep going. All right. Let's see if we can pick up another League win. Sperry, rotten our greens here. Can be popped up over the wall. Adama. Garuda, that's a dangerous slide tackle, but he gets all ball. Kamari tries to cross it in and getting it around. Mendy looking around. A lot of traffic there. Is taken. Garuda plays it back. Sabiri up to Kamari. I think Kamari is offsides there. We'll see the VAR. I think he's offsides by a step, but good pass through. A lot of through balls. Unfortunately, it's disallowed. I think he was a step or two over. Now plays it back, plays it there. No oh, step or two, bro. He's he's way behind the line there. Way behind the line. Okay. See if we can get something here. Let us encourage the boys. Mari can't win that in the air. Thielman back to Killian. Out to Karstensen at Thielman. Out wide. Out again. Gets the goal there up top. We just do not close that down. And that's what it turns into. Turns into a goal. Unfortunate. Let's go. Okay, Manicone wins it in the air. Still trying to put it through. Good slide tackle. Another good slide tackle, this time by Cologne. Good ball. Close down. No cross. Cross is closed down. New house is there. Fly plays it back to Frederick. Mari turn. 
Looking, plays it up. Garuda, good movement around. Sabiri just cannot play it up. He will fight for the ball though. And that's out wide to Pagrada. Kynes. Kynes looking, crosses there. All is blocked, both good defense and good goalkeeping. And new Haas. Sabiri's there. That is a flat run that is on side. Sabiri getting a good goal there. And we're tied at 1 1. We're tied at 1 1, baby. Let's go. That's a good run flat there. Good run flat. Okay. Half time or uh we're tied at the half. You're all right. You're all right. We can do this, boys. Let's put it together. We went up to Kamari. Up to Ply. To Garuda. Garuda back. Little one, two to Nets. Nets's cross is deflected. Kone, Sabiri. Sabiri! From about 23 outs. Bottom right corner. Good hit. Keeper cannot stop the ball. What a hit. Let's take another look at that. Head away by Killian. Kamari just plays it over. Kone's there. They leave Sabiri open and he beats the goalkeeper near post. Off the post. And in back of the net. We're playing well right now. All right, so we're going to change a couple of things here. We'll gut out Nets, who's playing. Uh, okay, let's pull Skelly over. Avaldi and Danvalik will come in on the rear, like always. Kamari is going to come out. Weigel is going to get, get to come in. Up top, we're going to have Sabiri take that up top position. Nagomu is going to come out, come in for Gruda. And the next thing we're likely going to do is. Get in shied. Let's play. There it is. Okay. We could take this rivalry game, this derby. Okay, Sabiri, we have a chance to put some cushion, put an extra insurance goal on it. Let's go, baby. He's gonna waste some time, but here it is. And it's in there near post, beating the keeper around the wall. Let's go. What a goal. I think that one's also off the post too. I think it is. I think it is. Let's praise the boys before they get off the field. And there it is. Sabiri has a hat trick today. Man of the match. We're looking good. Where's the man? You did 9.7. You were excellent tonight. Let's go. We never lack belief. We're in here. Top of the table. Sharing it with Dortmund. Although Dortmund does have a game in hand. But still, everyone has a game in hand on us besides uh, Cologne because we played. But, hey, that's besides the point. Top of the table. We have fixed our troubles, it seems. Or at least we've been able to sub our troubles away. Which is interesting. So... There is that. There is a couple things I do want to 
kind of show you while I go through this training and kind of talk about. So we did get our youth intake in, nothing too crazy. And I think we're going to use that as an idea to know what kind of talent we're bringing in. Or we did actually increase the youth intake role as we're seeing a lot of guys you're kind of seeing the development of some guys which is the biggest reason why we're doing this is we see also a lot of players get very good physically and mentally which is some of the easier ways to get up Dejan Kamari mentally his position is going up everything is looking good well you we are kind of training him as a Segundo Volante on attack right now. Uh, there's no real reason he's going to play that position for the most part. But I think even though he's a makeshift, let's just keep on supporting him as a Mitsala. And then over time, we'll get him up into that position. Probably more so when we start playing when the games don't count. We'll play with a couple of different positions and kind of get him in there and uh, get him trained up. Probably the, the friendlies that we'll have at the beginning of the year next season. We'll get him trained up into something. So pretty good for the most part. Our youngsters are getting better. Shio Fukuda. A lot of upgrades. like to see that. Sabiri. I mean, he's getting better. Over time. I mean, back forward. So at least he can do that. I mean, the biggest thing is you're going to have some time where you're in a slump you're gonna have some time where you're getting older and you're also gonna have some time when you're injured but also you're gonna be like Luke and that's where you just have time to get upgraded or Scully Scully's probably the one that's getting absolutely massively boosted right now with that so the intake a on fullbacks left and right B on attacking midfielders and strikers, C on goalkeepers, and C on wingers. So we'll kind of see. It says an excellent intake. Last time we had an excellent intake, it was only a three to three and a half. Now it is important to know that we have gotten our training facilities up, our youth facilities. And we got one in youth recruitment. We're still a four. I think more people are higher than we are. It's like Munich is is four and a half. Hoffenheim is four and a half. Leipzig is four and a half. We have four from Freiburg. Four from Schalke. Stuttgart is four and a half. So you kind of get the idea that we're not exactly the highest. There's Bayern Leverkusen with all the way up in Dortmund so as you can kind of can see we aren't the highest but we're also not the lowest so we get probably a middle to top here which is fine which is fine with us the projections I think once the league is settled we'll have a good amount of money uh, our End of season projection is about a hundred million. So we're projected at least stack on another 50 million with that. And I'm fine. Our transfer budget, at least in minimum, will be 24. Last year it was 47, I think it was. We spent most of that, but we had about 99 uh, million. So we spent half of it. We had 95 million. So we spent half that at the end of the day to do a little small incremental upgrade that's with Kamari that was projected Gruda was pretty good we've solidified some of our defensive subs which we kind of struggled with last season and uh yeah I feel like with Sabiri up top and also maybe a change in the future with uh bringing in some players what's that so with that in mind our schedule our next Champions League game is in February. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to play through this. We'll do the do the transfer window. If there's any big transfers in that, we'll kind of put it through. But I think we'll be back in February with Hansa Rostock. Uh, I think they're a League 2 team. But just because they're a League 2 team, does I mean, we got to be prepared. We've been knocked out of by, what was it, an Arexum save? 
by uh, Skybet Championship League teams. So, I mean, we, we can't sit back and not take this game seriously. And then I think we play finally Schalke. I don't think we played the Schalke game because we had the Champions League games popped and then we played uh, PSG. So we didn't get to play Schalke. So we'll be back to Hansa Rostock and the Schalke game before we go into another Champions League game. So while it might look a little darker because the camera, no, it's, it's because of this sunburn wise and then there's, I've been statically putting a lot of lotion because that's what happens when I sunburn is uh, you got to keep the skin moisturized, which is funny. Otherwise, it's not a fun time. Otherwise, this was a good episode. I mean, we are in a string of wins. We've won six out of our last seven. On the flip side, that means we've also won nine out of our no. Eight out of our last ten, with one draw and one loss in there. That loss being uh, Bayern, and the tie being PSG in a Champions League game. So, I mean, I think we fixed our offensive roles. This man himself, Bruno, while only being a League Two guy, I know you can't really see it, but we're, we're monologuing here. Uh, while he's only a good Bundesliga 2 player, the man is consistent. He's up. He is at least projected to be a Bundesliga so top tier, a standard. I mean, this man, he's versatile. Good recent development, obviously. He's got that flair. Uh, I mean, the man is also a perfectionist, which is likely helping a lot of his ability right now and upgrading and how he wants to play the game so i'm feeling good with this so thanks for hanging out go ahead and leave a like below comment and subscribe and i will see you guys next time later